Hello, my name is Bill Cronin, CEO of the PASCO EDC, and I'm here to welcome everyone to our virtual event, PASCO 2020, A Story of Strength. When our current crisis was in its early stages, there was a substantial amount of uncertainty in our business community. We didn't know what to expect, and even now, how long this would last. Many of our teams started working remotely March 17th, and we didn't know that we wouldn't see them in person again for several months. Companies were faced with difficult decisions to make and no previous pandemic experience and even less answers. But one thing we found to be undeniable is the ability of our community to band together to overcome those challenges through innovation, determination, and resiliency. The content you're about to witness is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this PASCO community's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. You'll see extraordinary examples of our first responders rising to the occasion and selflessly putting themselves in harm's way to care for our sick. You'll see leaders in our county's government, including our Board of County Commissioners and Constitutional Officers, our school district and nonprofits providing much needed relief efforts to those most affected by the current crisis. And you'll see our businesses taking the necessary steps to ensure the safety of their customers, their staff, and their families, while working tirelessly to provide the community with creative solutions for all of Pasco County to get through these uncertain times. Although we're all asking ourselves, when will this situation be over? Rest assured that Pasco County remains strong. And it's with that strength in mind that we adapt and overcome, rising to the occasion to show that we will not falter, but we will find a way to flourish. And we'll not walk away from this fight, but instead, we will step up to the plate. And we will not be discouraged, but instead, we will find strength in the stories of our community. When COVID-19 forced the closure of our schools, we knew the thousands of children in Pasco County that struggle with food insecurity, they would be hit the hardest. Something had to be done to get food to these children. So we reached out to you, our community, and with your support, we've been able to provide groceries and meals every week for families in need. We just wanna say thank you. I'm Mayor Gene Whitfield. I'm Randy Maggard, your state representative for District 38 in the Florida House. I am Commissioner Ron Oakley. I'm Gus Bilorakis, and I'm honored and privileged to represent you, Pasco County. Our community is strong, resilient, and we will beat this silent enemy. We hope that you and yours remain safe and in good health. We thank you for your support, we thank you for your encouragement, and we ask you to stay safe. We are working proactively behind the scenes every day to keep you safe and informed. We're counting on each of you to do your part. Your actions during this time can literally save lives. We will get through this difficult time. Thank you for following the CDC guidelines. We got this, Upper Hills. Working together as a community, we will rise to that challenge. Just as impressive as the collaboration between the governments and nonprofit agencies has been the generosity and stewardship of our local business community. I'm Brian Taylor with Pasco County Parks, Recreation, and Natural Resources. While many of you have been staying at home, helping stop the spread of COVID-19, we've been using this unique time working in all our parks to enhance your experience. When we reopen, we hope your experience is even better than it was before. We can't wait for you to see what we've done. Here in Pasco County, community leaders are working together to organize a food drive to help feed the most needy and the most vulnerable among us. For the past six weeks, we have provided more than 675,000 meals to children at our school feeding sites and at selected bus stops. We're seeing countless examples of hope, unity, and support. From sidewalk art campaigns unifying neighbors to social media efforts that have us rallying around local businesses. Restaurants donating meals to frontline workers and schools feeding our students in need. Countless people are even making and sewing masks to donate. Libraries may indeed not be the first resource people think of when we're all in this trying to uh, fight the coronavirus situation. Uh, but actually we do have quite a few resources uh, that we can take advantage of. Here at Land O'Lakes and 
the Hugh Embry Library at Dade City, we want to be part of, uh, part of the, the solution and, and helping the public uh, in whatever way we can. The project that I'm working on uh, with a number of other people in libraries is we are making these um, masks and they are being distributed. Um, so far, we have delivered a number to senior services, and we'll be working on some of them for PCPT bus drivers as well. Anytime you take a project like this and you have to make a lot of them, you make some minor improvements. And that, for me, is fun. I enjoy sewing, and so it's a neat project. And it's also nice to know that I'm able to help people in the community and that Library staff is all working from home, so we're not able to do what we normally do for the public, but we're still able to help the public and our fellow employees in a different way. So in addition to the masks, we have a 3D printer at the Hudson branch, and we are slowly producing uh, masks with that machine. Now it's a little bit slower process, but uh, we'll be donating those as well. Everybody in the community, from the private sector to government, uh, even Pasco County Libraries, we're all doing our part. Pasco County is a very special place to live, work, and enjoy life. There is a deep sense of community and connectedness everywhere you turn. This has never been more prevalent and over the past few months, as we have grappled with the health and economic challenges caused by the global pandemic. We've chartered previously unnavigated territory, and these circumstances have revealed the depth of our community's resiliency, resourcefulness, and resolve. We will make sure no one gets left behind I'm so very proud of Pasco County, and I truly believe that if we remain united, we will emerge stronger than ever. Your dedication to your neighbors and the communities we call home makes us incredibly proud to serve you. Let's carry that spirit of our community into the next chapter as we work to reopen together. Advent Health, with experts who can heal when no one else can, using the most advanced medical equipment. From robotic surgeries that need better results and faster recovery, to the latest diagnostics that provide more precise care, we have the tools and the teams that lead to more life-saving outcomes. For everyday care, to the most complex care, or emergency care, to ways you can care of yourself, we have the network of care right here building partnerships to make it easy for you to find the experts you need close to home, and using convenient online resources to make reservations for non-life-threatening emergency visits and patient registration right on your phone. We are here to love you, to make it easy, and to keep you safe. With teams that are nationally recognized by the LeapFrog Group as the safest in our area and the number one choice of women for patient safety. Avent Health is more than hospital. We are part of our community, invested in where we all live, work, and play. With over 75,000 volunteer hours, $115 million in charitable care, and income contributions for Pasco County. We are here with faith, here with hope. Dear Lord, just be with Anne and her surgery. We are Advent Health. The right expertise, the right innovation, the right care, at the right place, at the right time. 
to help you feel whole. I try and make every person that walks in, whether it's a family member, a staff member, a vendor, I try and make everybody feel appreciated and, and part of the team. I think it's really important to smile with your eyes and let people know that you're still a friendly face and that everyone's appreciated. We remain at the ready at all times. We've, we've got plenty of equipment, we've got plenty of supplies on hand to make sure that our responders are safe so that we can respond to your emergency. We'll do a gross decontamination at the hospital by utilizing those wipes, but then the crew will actually don some fresh equipment on, drive that ambulance back to the station where they'll do a complete decontamination of the unit. And one of the things that we utilize at the station is something that we call a hydrostatic disinfectant sprayer. And what that does is it takes a, a solution of pure bleach and it atomizes it and allows those, uh, the bleach to get in all the nooks and crannies throughout the entire back of the ambulance, making sure that every bit of that ambulance is fully disinfected. I'm so proud to work here because to see everybody really come together as a one team during this time has been the most impressive thing I've ever seen. and the tree was happy. The end. Thanks for joining me. Say your prayers, go to bed, and thank your parents very much. Thank you. Some local Boy Scouts spent their Saturday thanking first responders. The Scouts held up signs, all while social distancing, of course, at a hospital and fire station in Pasco County. There are tens of thousands of Scouts that we're asking to go out and do the same. Just thank our first responders, thank our health care workers. Please stick together, keep a positive attitude. God will look over us, we will get through this together, and I promise you, your sheriff's office will always be there to support you. We've done our part to keep each other safe, to provide excellent care, Compassion is what I've seen come out of this, and I think all of those things together is what made a difference.
Hello, I'm Michael Lawson with Metro Development Group and current chairman of the Pasco EDC Board of Directors. Every year the chairman gives an address to the community, sharing the year's accomplishments in economic development. Under normal circumstances, we will be celebrating that the Pasco EDC has announced 10 project wins, which brought in 493 new jobs and $77 million in capital investment to Pasco County. That our Smart Start program is adding a third entrepreneur center to be opened at the Grove to serve more startups and small businesses in the community. Or that our business retention and expansion department partnered with our Workforce Connect program to create a BizWalk program where they visit companies with representatives from our partners at Career Source, Pasco County Sheriff's Office, a local staffing agency, Pasco Hernando State College, and Pasco County Emergency Management. However, we are not under normal circumstances, and the Pasco EDC has also had to adjust and shift services they offer to our business community. In April, the Pasco EDC partnered with Pasco County to provide a relief grant funded by Penny for Pasco to small businesses impacted by COVID-19. The Pasco Emergency Business Grant was available for up to the amount of $5,000 per applicant to support small businesses in the local Pasco County economy. 1,250 companies were awarded Pasco County business grants for a total of over six and one half million dollars. In addition to delivering a valuable grant to help so many businesses, the Pasco EDC has served a communication lifeline to Pasco County business community throughout this pandemic. They were able to quickly assess our local manufacturing capabilities and workforce needs through hundreds of counseling calls with our Pasco companies. Every registered company in Pasco received relief and recovery information from the EDC, thanks to partnerships with the county's emergency management system and the task collector office. The task collector sent a mailing directing companies to the Pasco EDC COVID-19 webpage, which received over 41,000 visits and the Pasco EDC continues to offer business classes virtually to over 1,000 participants during the crisis. The Pasco EDC team is continuing to serve our business community, and I would like to say thank you to the team, as well as to all of our investors and supporters in the community. Our business community remains strong thanks to all of you. Please enjoy this next video, highlighting the strength of our Pasco County businesses and patrons. And to all of you, may God bless. This is what we're doing to help with the virus. And we have our soap, hand soap, that we will leave inside the house, along with instructions for showing agents on how to show the property in the age of coronavirus. everything that everybody would handle. Today I'm here at Benedetto's. Pasco Deputy Alexis Camacho wants to help out. I decided to take it open myself to do something just to help out the community. we're not buying chocolate but they're buying my meals to go so if you want a home cooked meal I used to have two restaurants in New York and I can make you homemade manicot chicken parmesan chicken marcella anything you want we can make it for you I'm Peter Kuczynski with Pharma Works in Odessa Florida and I'm going to show you what we're doing to uh, do our part for producing the different face shields uh, for the uh, medical community. This is a reusable mask. 
Um, it doesn't fog up. We did close it up based on comments. We've got plenty of room, plenty of coverage here. Well, we're going to be able to produce 30,000 face shields themselves on this printer, on this uh, machine. And we'll be able to distribute those wherever. We can produce 60,000, even 90,000 a day of these shields themselves. So here's my Dade City classroom and the pocket mask breath only simulated now. So what that means is in CPR training, um, this is a pocket mask which is found in an AED kit and typically in our old classes we would let them put it on and breathe in because you can see the breaths uh, rise. But now, per American Heart Standards, we will only let them position it on the face and simulate, which means they just count one breath, two breath, uh, doing the chin lift. I wanted to also say a big thank you to PASCO EDC for approving for a grant for Red, White, Blue CPR. Uh, you threw me a lifeboat to keep me paddling in this ocean of despair and uncertainty. You're like an extended family. May God bless you all with great health and prosperity. Signing off for Red, White, Blue CPR. For the first time since his Hudson Bar was forced to close in mid-March, 45-year-old Glenn Hobbs is feeling hopeful. Last week, we showed you how Hobbs applied for a small business grant from Pasco County. Yesterday, the owner of Hobbs Hideaway found out he's going to get it. It's, it's just unbelievable how quickly Pasco County helped its citizens, and, and it's, it was just that quick of a process. A group of business owners are standing up to make a difference, feeding those who are affected the most by providing meals to those in need. We want to lend a helping hand. We are united. We are determined. We are passionate to serve. We are coming together to make a change. We've been blessed to be a blessing. Our mission is to lead through service. Together, we all win. Together, we are strong. Pasco Strong. Twenty twenty has been a challenging year for everyone around the world. We've experienced significant changes in all aspects of our economy, including how we do business locally and globally. Changes in how we approach business recruitment. Changes in how we communicate. Changes in our workforce needs. Changes in how we build our business plans. Changes in how we interact and network. Changes in how we respond to staff needs. Changes in how we offer educational workshops. Changes in how we grow our businesses. Changes in how we deliver service to our business community. The PASCO EDC has intentionally evolved to support our community throughout these changes utilizing various programs. The site selection process has evolved and we are no longer attending large events and trade shows. Companies have new needs when looking to relocate, starting with the initial meeting itself. We've adapted to current climate and are utilizing multiple technologies to host virtual site selection meetings. We can showcase aerial property videos, interactive maps, and industry-specific data. By using these tools, we have the ability to share creative content and discuss the benefits of doing business in Pasco County in an engaging way. Workforce needs have shifted as we've moved through the pandemic. Our training partners have done an excellent job at adjusting their services to continue to deliver high demand training programs to meet employer needs. In addition, our WorkforceConnectPasco.com platform has continued to make vital connections for training providers and deliver workforce resources that employers need. Understanding how your business operates and the need to adjust to changing times became crucial at the onset of COVID-19. 
We're now offering Refocus, a co-starters program that helps business owners rethink immediate next steps needed to stabilize and re-examine their ventures. Peer interaction and networking is an important part of doing business. Many businesses are wondering what they can do now that face-to-face -face meetings and handshakes are no longer acceptable or safe. We have incorporated numerous virtual meeting platforms in our programming and have trained staff on how to keep virtual meetings engaging and beneficial to all. With so much information and misinformation available, we want to help our business community get the correct communications as quickly and simply as possible. We have created platforms that are organized and easy to navigate by prioritizing direct links to application web pages, frequently asked questions, and any additional information a business may need. New legislation such as the Emergency Family Medical Leave Act, E, FMLA, and changes regarding taxes impact how human resource departments and businesses operate. Knowing your employees' rights and your business's responsibility is important moving forward as we try to keep our staff and families safe offering relevant classes and coaching sessions to help our businesses continue to thrive throughout the pandemic is very important to us. We host multiple events on numerous topics weekly on social media as well as other virtual platforms. The classes help the business community network while learning valuable resources. Business growth is one of our top priorities and we are here to assist our companies through that process. We work at a local level on job creation incentives as well as with our state partners to provide valuable resources to help your business grow, including overseas through exporting. We are here to help you navigate these difficult times and manage some of the added stresses in running a business. We can help walk you through available programs and resources the PASCO EDC has to offer and connect you with the appropriate team member. Make your business a thriving operation of which you and your employees are proud to be a part of here in Pasco County. The Pasco EDC is here to help your company start, move, and grow.